6th grade, Module 2, Lesson 8, Classwork. Example 1. Carly has four and a half walls left to paint in order for all the bedrooms in her house to have the same color paint. However, she has used almost all of her paint and only has five-sixths of a gallon left. How much paint can she use on each wall in order to have enough to paint the remaining walls? Okay, so first of all, we need to have the write the expression. So she has four and a half walls left to paint, and she only has five sixths of a gallon left. So how much could she use on each wall? So we're taking the five sixths of a gallon that's left and dividing it between the four and a half walls. So we're going to use the invert and multiply rule here that we learned last lesson. But before we do that, we need to make this four and a half into an improper fraction. So four and a half would be equal to, to make this an improper fraction, remember we multiply the whole number by the denominator, four times two is eight, plus the numerator is nine halves. So now we have five sixths divided by nine halves, but I'm going to invert and multiply. So I leave the dividend alone, I multiply, and I invert the divisor, so flip it. So we have five six times two ninths, which would be 10. Six times nine is 54. So we get 10 54ths. But we can reduce this. They're both even, so I can divide by two over two. 10 divided by two is five. 54 divided by two, well, I know 50 divided by two is 25. And four divided by two is two, so 25 plus two is 27. And that can't be reduced. So she can use 5 27ths of a gallon on each wall. Which I don't know if that's very much. I don't know how far she's going to get with that. Okay, B, calculate the quotient. So now they've just given us the expression. We need to take 3 and 4 sevenths and make it into an improper fraction. So 3 times 7 is 21, plus 4 is 25 sevenths. We have two fifths divided by 25 sevenths. I'm going to invert and multiply. Two fifths times, invert this, seven twenty fifths. And two times seven is 14. Five times 25 is 125. And that cannot be reduced, so we get 14 120 fifths. Exercise. Show your work from the memory game in the boxes provided below. So there was a memory game. I'm just going to go through all the questions. They might, they're probably not going to be in the same order that you had them, but if you want to check your answers from the memory game, I'll just go through all the different memory cards that you had. So three-fourths divided by six and two-thirds would be equal to three-fourths divided by six and two-thirds is equal to six times three is 18 plus 20 is 20 thirds. If we invert and multiply, we'll have three-fourths times three twentieths. So we get nine and four times 20 is eightieths, nine eightieths. Next one I have is one-third divided by four and three-fourths. So let's start by making four and three fourths into four times four is 16 plus three, 19 fourths. One third divided by 19 fourths, but we're gonna invert and multiply, so times four nineteenths. One times four is four, three times 19 is 57, so four 57 c two-fifths divided by one and seven-eighths okay so one and seven-eighths sorry one and seven-eighths is equal to eight plus seven is fifteen-eighths 
So we have 2 fifths divided by 15 eighths. I'm going to invert and multiply. 2 fifths times 8 fifteenths. 2 times 8 is 16. 5 times 15 is 75. So 16 70 fifths. D. 7 and a half divided by 5 sixths. Not seven halves, seven and a half. Sorry. Okay, so let's make seven and a half into an improper fraction. Seven times two is 14, plus one is 15 halves. We have 15 halves divided by five sixths. And we're going to invert and multiply. So the div dividend stays the same. We multiply. And the divisor becomes 6 fifths. 15 times 6 is 90. And 2 times 5 is 10. And 90 tenths, we can cancel those out, it's just 9 over 1 or 9. E, 3 and 4 sevenths divided by 5 eighths. 3 and 4 sevenths would be equal to 3 times 4 is 20, or 3 times 7 is 21, plus 4 is 25 sevenths. We have 25 sevenths divided by 5 eighths. We're going to invert and multiply. So 25 sevenths times 8 fifths. 25 times 8 is 200. 7 times 5 is 35. And if we make that into a mixed number, let's see, 35 can go into 200 five times, I believe. Let's see. 35 times 5 is 25. 3 times 5 is 15. 17. So 175. So we'll have. 25 left over out of 35 and 25 30 fifths becomes 5 and 5 sevenths because we can divide both of 25 and 35 by 5. F 5 and 5 eighths divided by 9 tenths. So let's make 5 and 5 eighths into 45 eighths. 45 eighths divided by 9 tenths. Let's invert and multiply times 10 ninths. 45 times 10 is 450. 8 times 9 is 72. 450 70 seconds. Okay. So let's see how many times 72 can go into 450. Let's do 72 times maybe 5. 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1. 5 times 7 is 35, 36. So that's 360. I bet we could add another one. So this would be times 6. It's 432. So it could go in 6 times, and then 450 minus 432 It's 18, so we have 18 70 seconds, 6 and 18 70 seconds, which if we reduce that is 6 and 1 fourth. G, 1 fourth divided by 10 and 11 twelfths. Okay, 10 and 11 twelfths would be equal to 10 times 12 is 120 plus 11 would be 131 twelfths. So we have one, one fourth divided by 131 twelfths. If we invert and multiply, that'd be times 12 over 131. 1 times 12 is 12. 4 times 131. 4, 4 times 3 is 12, carry the 1, 4 times 1 is 4, 
plus 1 is 5. So we get 12 524 ths. And let's see, I bet we can reduce this. They're both even, so we can definitely divide by 2. So let's divide them both by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 524 divided by 2 goes in twice. 2 times 2 is 4. Bring down the 2. 2 goes into 12 6 times. Bring down the 4. 2 goes into 4 twice. So we get 262. I think we can divide by 2 again. So that's 3. And 262 divided by 2. 2 goes into 2 one time. Bring down the 6. 2 goes into 6 three times. Bring down the 2. 2 goes into 2 one time. So we get 131. 3 over 131. H. 5 and 3 fourths divided by 5 ninths. So 5 and 3 fourths would be equal to 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3 is 23 fourths. 23 fourths divided by 5 ninths. So we're going to invert and multiply. 23 fourths times 9 fifths. Let's do 23 times 9. 9 times 3 is 27. Carry the 2. 9 times 2 is 18 plus 2 is 20. So it's 207, and 4 times 5 is 20. So let's make that back into a mixed number. And two, 20 can go into 207 10 times, because 20 times 10 is 200. So 10 times, and then we'd have 7 20ths left over. I. Three and a third divided by three and one fifth divided by two thirds. So let's make three and one fifth into sixteen fifths. So we have sixteen fifths divided by two thirds. Invert and multiply. Sixteen times three is equal to forty eight. Five times two is ten. So we have forty eight tenths which would be equal to 4 and 8 tenths, or 4 and 4 fifths. J. 3 fifths divided by 3 and 1 seventh. So 3 and 1 seventh would be equal to 22 sevenths. 3 and fifths divided by 22 sevenths, or 3 fifths times 7 20 seconds. 3 times 7 is 21. 5 times 22, let's do 22 times 5, 10, carry the 1, that'd be 10, 11. So 21 100 tenths. And we cannot reduce that. K. 10 thirteenths divided by 2 and 4 sevenths. So 2 and 4 sevenths is equal to 2 times 7 is 14 plus 4 is 18 sevenths. So 10 thirteenths divided by 18 sevenths. Or 10 thirteenths times 7 eighteenths. So 10 times 7 is 70. 13 times 18, 3 times 8 is 24, carry the 2, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 2 is 10, put our 0 down, onto the 1, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 1 is 1, add them together, we get 234, so 10 over 230, or 70 over 234, 
We can divide both of those by 2 because they're both even. 70 divided by 2 is 35. 234, well 200 divided by 2 is 100. And 34 divided by 2 is 17, so 117. And the last one. 2 and 1 fourth divided by 7 eighths. So 2 and a fourth is equal to 9 fourths. So 9 fourths divided by 7 eighths. It'll be 9 fourths times 8 sevenths. 9 times 8 is 72. 4 times 7 is 28. And let's go ahead and 28 could go into, or 72 could go into. 28 could go into 72 maybe three times. 3 times 8 is 24. Carry the 2. 3 times 2 is 6. That would be 84, so too big. It can only go in two times. Let's subtract 28 from that. 14 minus 8 is 6. 7 minus 2 is 5. So we get 56. So 72 minus 56, let's see what our remainder would be. 16. We can divide 16 and 28, both of those we can divide by 4. So 16 divided by 4 is 4, 28 divided by 4 is 7, so we get 2 and 4 sevenths.